What's up guys? Baker here. Hello, hello, hello. Got a transitions tutorial. We're going to be going over masking and stuff. Uh, a lot of people have been asking for this. You see it on a lot of montages nowadays. And uh, here's pretty much what I'm going to be showing you guys. So I know it was quick, but let's take a look. This window pops up and you fly through the window to the next scene. And here's another example where uh, like pieces come together, kind of. So that was pretty fast too, but if you look, got this arm coming in, we got the flag coming in, and it all comes together. So uh, let's get straight into it. So let's pretend you have uh, two clips in your comp, in your whole montage thing, you know. And uh, they need to be overlapping a little bit. Um, yeah, so let's find a good spot where you want it to start cutting out or whatever. So right about here is a is a pretty good spot. So what we're gonna do is click on the light the layer, go to time, enable time remapping, and let's click a keyframe for the spot you want it to freeze. And uh, it's gonna keep going because there's a keyframe all the way at the end that I have here. So just delete that, and then it should play and then freeze right after and that's what we want we don't want to do any uh, animating the mask path on a moving clip the still frame will be a lot easier so let's go to that spot in time okay and let's go ahead and take our pen tool and just draw just click on these corners boom now let's, let me shut this bottom layer off so we got this right Cool. And uh, I'm going to set it to subtract. So it cuts that out. But we don't want it to subtract yet. So we'll go into the mask down here. Mask is expansion. Click the stopwatch. And let's set this down all the way until it's gone. Negative whatever. Move forward one frame. And set this back up to zero. Okay. Now I have motion blur. Let me do that. Okay. So it basically turns on and off. So yeah, that's what we want. So right when it turns off, that's when we're going to start animating uh, position, scale, and all that stuff. So before we do that, go up to your pan behind tool and move. It's usually like right here in the middle. Move the little sun looking thing to the middle of your window or door. It'll make it a lot easier. Okay. So we're going to push P, Shift S. Shift R, so it brings up our position, scale, and rotation. Set a keyframe for all three of those, and move forward until the end of the animation, like half second, maybe you know, even a full second or so. And uh, let's uh, first make move the position so the window is like in the middle of the entire comp or so, right, right about there. And uh, let's kind of rotate it, maybe this way. And then just play with the scale until it's just like that. So that will look like this. Maybe a little bit more to rotation or so. Let's see. Move this down. Up there or something. Scale it up so make sure you don't see it anymore. But it's kind of like that. Flying through. Now I have a. Uh, let me turn this off. Okay, so the scale, it's kind of weird looking, so what we can go do is click on scale, go into the uh, graph editor, click on the bottom keyframe, and click easy ease out down here, and we can just kind of make a little exponential curve, and I'll start it off slow, and then go really fast, and it looks a little bit better. Now we got these uh, black edges, all you got to do to fix that is search up motion tile, drag that onto your clip, and just increase the output width or height and make sure you have mirrored edges on. So what that does is it kind of fills in the uh, the blackness up there. Now uh, maybe we need some for the width as too. So let me just set that up real quick and then we there we go. So if I uh, turn on our bottom clip, turn that back on, you can see it kind of just goes whoosh, right in there. And we can turn on the motion blur and motion blur for the comp and it. Uh, a little, a little bit better. All right, so that's pretty simple, you guys. Uh, let's go into the pieces now. So I got this other comp set up, and uh, I want it to kind of piece together over here. 
And uh, you can do this uh, so many different ways, but I'm going to show you a few techniques. Uh, I'm going to go until we get this hand right in there. It looks pretty cool. I'm going to have the hand in there. So we need to decide what pieces we're going to have. So I want this arm. I'm going to want this red roof with the flag. And the bat, everything else can just be one whole, one whole layer. I don't want to get like just the airplane or anything like that. That might take a while. But so we're gonna have one, two, three pieces. So duplicate your clip. Actually, first let's do this. Time, time remapping, and set a keyframe where you want to stop. And for it to freeze and then start, we have to delete the first keyframe way out here. So it's going to be frozen and then it goes. Okay. Now we're going to duplicate it. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, one second. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to use our pen tool. So this top layer, we can just call this arm. Doesn't matter. And take a pen tool and this kind of will quickly go through this arm. And you can uh, go ahead and spend time on this. I don't feel like doing it. And there we go. We got the arm. So we solo it. Just an arm. Let's go to the middle layer. This could be our roof. And we're just going to take the pen tool again and just kind of draw out this roof. And uh, let's go ahead and get this flagpole. Why not? It's a little windy sock flag thing, whatever it is. And connect it. So if we solo that one, there we go. And then the back layer, we can just have it with no mask. It can just be everything. It doesn't really matter. Um, actually, yeah. If you go to uh, check out your mask on the arm and command or control copy, Paste it onto the background. One, paste it. And we just get the arm. Set the mask to subtract. And if we go to the roof and take that mask, copy it, and paste it to the background as well, set that to subtract. Now we only get that background. Now we're going to get some weird uh, edging. I don't know if you can really see it, but uh, some weird edging going on to fix that. Just expand the masks a little bit. Oh, what the hell? Okay, go to your uh, background. Mask expansion. Okay, let me solve this. So, if we f we want it to go the opposite way, we want to fill in like that. So just set it to like negative five, and this one go down in negative five. So they kind of like overlap just barely, so we don't get any weird edges going on. Okay, so now let's uh, get this animation going. Okay, let's zoom in here, and it starts on this this frame right here. So I want the arm to kind of swing into the frame. So what I'm going to do is take your pan behind tool, and mine's up here right now, but it should be in the middle. Drag it to kind of where the shoulder will be, and it can it'll rotate as if that was like the anchor point. So we're going to go to arm, press R for rotation, keyframe move backwards and just rotate it this way okay shut this back layer off all right <clears throat> so let's go to this roof what i want this roof to do is kind of move from the bottom so i'm going to move back here roof p for position keyframe move backwards and just drag it down okay and what I did for the background is a little different, but we can slide this in too. And I'll show you the example later. Let's uh, push P for position, stopwatch, move forward. And this can just be from, uh, let's see, where, where would undo that? Let's move it from the side or something. Yeah, move that way out there. Yeah. Alright, so it kind of all comes together kind of like this. And you can uh, obviously offset these so they don't come all at the same time. Maybe if you want the uh, the background to come last. So we get this arm coming in and the, 
thing, and then whoosh, that looks pretty cool. And uh, I have motion blur on these already, so I would suggest using that. That looks pretty cool, kind of. What do you think? Whoosh. Well, that's about it. Make sure you turn off the audio for multiple layers because it'll just get super loud. So just turn these off right there. And uh, there's your transition. And then, yeah, here's the exit one. That's pretty much it. Uh, I need more suggestions for transitions because I'm going to be doing uh, <coughs> next couple tutorials on that. So send me a message of like uh, a video and actually show me an example and uh, I'll try to show you guys. And uh, that's it for today. Make sure you like the video because uh, liking videos is really cool. It helps me out even if you don't think it does. And uh, I think that's it. Peace you guys. Have fun.